back, she's ready to share the book with you, A House for Hermit Crab. And this is written by Eric Carl. I'm gonna read another one of his stories this week because I love him. He's such a great author and illustrator. He does both, writes the words and draws pictures. Okay, Hermit Crab lives on the ocean floor. Their skin is hard except for their abdomen. Their abdomen is in their stomach area, which is soft. To protect this soft spot, the crab burrows a shell and makes it his house. The om then only its face, feet, and claws stick out from the shell. That way it can see, walk, and catch its food. When a hermit crab is threatened, it withdraws inside its shell to protect itself from danger. There we go. That was just some information. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Here he yeah. is. He says, time to move, said the hermit crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Hmm. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It was just right. But it looked so, well, so plain, he thought. Hmm, so plain. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. Here they are. See them? Yeah. They Sway gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you be willing to come and live in my house? It's so plain, it needs you. Oh, come, whispered the sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. See that? Yeah. He's using his claws. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of st starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a star little starfish. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. Crab! Yeah, it is a crab. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. See that? Yeah. It's like plants that live under the water. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you be willing to help me make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked Krusty Crab. Coral. Coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Gingerly means careful. You say careful? Yeah. In June, Crab came to a group of snails. Have you ever found a snail before? They were crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae bits of debris and leaving neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help me clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Look how his shell is getting less plain. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They're prickly, see that? They had sharp prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? Keep it safe? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. Who's ever gotten seaweed on them at the beach? It's so dark, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murder, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. Coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like a night, it's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. It's dark in the seaweed. What do you predict's gonna happen? Hmm, tell someone, what do you think? 
they can't see in the seaweed. In September, hermit crabs spotted a dark school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one of the lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. That was nice. Uh. They're all being so helpful, aren't they, and kind. In October, hermit crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. Here they are, like little rocks. How sturdy you are, said hermit crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you, if I put them in different places? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered hermit crab. Do you all think this is totally fake fiction or is it nonfiction and it's real? What do you think? Keep thinking while I'm reading. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had to come, he, he had come to love his friends the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They're like family. How can I ever leave them? I keep. Yeah, that's our kitty cat, Aslan. No. In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. Look at that. They're gonna switch. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab. It is a crab. As he waved goodbye, say bye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Yeah. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big, empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The and I think a lot of these things are true, but animals don't talk, do they? So we're gonna say that this story was totally fake, okay? With some facts about it. I hope you guys enjoyed our story about the hermit crab finding his new home and making it beautiful oh. with his other sea animal friends. Charlie, can you say bye-bye? Char, say bye.